characterize this game is the first period and a half, it seemed like you guys were in control and kind of got away from it a little bit, but then you found us and to come back. But it didn't get away from us. We took five, four penalties in the second period. And when you take four penalties against a good team with a great power play, it's it's going to bite you in the butt. You know, I mean, uh, I think the refs had too much control over the game today. I think they had, what, eight power plays? We had six or seven or something. They had nine. You know, I mean, when you're when you're 18 minutes shorthanded, and on a lot of them, Ricky did little calls. But once you start doing that, you have to continue doing that. Or uh, so it was. A, it was a tough game. That's you know, if it was a, if there was wasn't very many penalties, it probably would have been a two to one game. That's the way it was. You know, starting out to be. A bit of an undisciplined game for Simon. Uh, sort of a throwback to some of the seasons past. Is that just a? He didn't have a very good game. You know, I mean, he's had a lot of great games for us this year. Um, today wasn't one. Fair scores. It's tied at uh, tied at four, I guess. At that point, you had to feel like you guys had the momentum, and in those situations, you guys have usually kind of built on that. That next goal was kind of the... yeah, but you're you're killing penalties again. You know, you don't have a, a chance. I mean, you have the overtime, and I think both teams were happy to get to overtime. And then the last two minutes, you're you know you're playing four on three, not really a lot of chance to to go offensively. At that point, you're just open to get it to a shootout. Power play didn't score until the third, but they moved the puck really well and seemed like they were creating chances and uh, you know pinning Philly in pretty well. I thought all game we had good chances. I mean, I was a little worried at the first after the first period when it was only one nothing because we didn't get rewarded for having. Three two on ones, two breakaways. You know, I mean, those are the those are the kind of times you put teams away, and when you don't, you let them hang around. Something usually negatively happens. But it was, uh, um, uh, I think, good character. And uh, that when things don't go well for you, and the other team takes the lead, and when Carter got the goal, that uh, to make it three to one, that we just didn't fold the tent. Uh, even though it was power plays, uh, you, you, you knew that you knew they were going to get some the way the game was going. Last handful of games, you guys have only had a couple power plays a game, and only had to kill maybe three or four penalties. Playing second and back to back is it hard to play such a special teams heavy game tonight? Well, it is because I mean guys are getting you know uh, guys are sitting on the bench that are that should uh, that would normally be playing, and, and guys that are killing penalties they're they're getting fatigued when you can't score goals when you're done with that because you're you're too busy too working hard to, to defend. It seemed like John Carlson was all over the ice tonight when you how you predict his play. Yeah I thought you know he was he was playing the win. You know he was up the ice and um, he played hard, he competed uh, uh, that's you know John Carlson was a great competitor and that's you could tell tonight he was he really wanted to win the game. Yeah, I'm going to play Marlon played tonight it was really good. I thought that was Marcus' best game. You, uh, you mentioned <coughs> not having Mike Nibble and looking for other top six winners. So like Fleshman, Fair, Chimera, all played pretty well. Well, I, yeah, I, I mean, I, I sort of challenged uh, a couple of them. But this is their time. I mean, you know, I mean, some, we talk about, uh, you know, with our team, uh, some guys don't get as much ice time as maybe if they were on another team. But now that Mike's out, there's 18 minutes, 19 minutes a game. Somebody's somebody's able to take. And uh, I thought Eric and Fleisch and Chimmer all stepped up to the plate and played a really good game today. Chimmer has had a stretch of good games. Is there anything you can attribute it to? I mean, he's been setting people up. And I don't know. I mean, he's uh, he's always been a guy. When you look at his speed, you think that his numbers should be better at the end of the year because he's so fast. But uh, it never happened. Maybe he just believes in himself a little bit more. Um, I don't know. Maybe it's the alignment. Uh, uh, but whatever it is, you know, whatever Kool Aid he's drinking, I'm going to continue doing it. <laughs> I think I think always um, still working on the breakaway, but uh, I mean sometimes you score and sometimes not. But uh, I mean uh, it's very important for this team anyway, and, and he's always, always working hard, and, and he's our captain, and, and we look up to him. How much do penalties really hurt you guys? 
Uh, well, uh, I think they, they scored, scored a couple of goals in the park, but, uh, uh, we had some chances too in the park, I think, but uh, I mean, sometimes this kind of games is going to come, and, and uh, I don't know how many park each team had, but uh, there was uh, a lot of turning around out there. <laughs> Talk about your attitude that this team has had for the last couple of years is no matter what the score is, you guys are still in the game. Yeah, I mean, I think that's a good sign we have, and, and hopefully we can continue doing that. And it's too bad we, we lost in the shooting, but uh, uh, we win the game Monday and we move forward for that. Nick, was this as intense a game as you've had in 21 so far tonight? It seemed like both teams were jacked up, the crowd was yep. into it. Yeah, I think uh, it was a lot of fun to play this game, a lot of emotional. That's good. I mean, it's, it's a lot of fun. It's like a playoff game. So, yeah. Did you get any explanation on that call? It looked like you just turned to go to the middle and he just tripped and fell on his own. Did they say anything to you? Well, uh, I don't know. Uh, I'm just I mean, that's, that's the rough decision. We can't say anything about that. Nick, it seemed like you guys were moving the puck well on the power play, even early in the game before the goals. I'll start going in. Did you have the sense that if you got enough chances, it, it would start to start to cash in for you? Yeah, I think so. I mean, as I said, I mean, I think it was moving well and we're working together as a, as a group out there. And that's important, especially for me. I mean, you have to move the puck and create chances out there. And finally, the third period and pay off the drive. Yeah, I just tried to get into the net. So I flashed her to make a pass, and I was going to start back checking, hit a skate, and kind of jumped right out to me. I knew Chimmer was somewhere around the net, so I just threw it. He did a great job putting the rebound away. Yeah, you know, Jason has been playing great for us lately. He hasn't been you know, scoring goals. He's been getting assists and, and doing what he needs to do to be successful for our team. But every guy in here wants to score goals, you know, especially you know, a guy like him that plays so well offensively with his speed and everything. So it was nice for him to get, get one tonight. You said earlier today that Bruce was going to challenge you guys. What do you say perhaps I think one of the things he just said is that last night was probably our worst display all season. And it was a 60-minute effort last night. And he wanted us to come in here at home and play against the second-ranked team in the Eastern Conference and uh, play him tough and win the game. Unfortunately, we didn't get the win, but we showed a lot of character in coming back and, and playing against you know, a very good hockey team. Big night of special teams for you guys, too. Uh, it seemed like even before the power play got going, they were moving the puck well, and you had the sense that if they got enough chances, they, they would pop. Yeah, they were good. We've got so much skill in that, you know, those units. They just keep shooting the puck and shooting the puck. They're going to find their way in the back of the net, and they did. It was, it, was a, it was a successful game for us. Last several games, you guys have had two or three PPs, only a handful of PKs. What's it like to go from that rhythm-wise to a game where it's almost all special teams, especially second and back to back? One extreme to another, I guess you could say. Yeah, yeah it's it's tough for, like I said, for situational guys like that don't see a lot of PK time or don't see a lot of power play time and end up getting you know, cold legs on the bench. But, you know, it's a team game, and I think everyone stepped up tonight and had some kind of, some kind of a, you know, Trying to say, impact. Yeah, an impact on on the special teams.